Welcome children. I'm here with a lesson that is very interesting for all of us. It deals with a topic that we are all very familiar with. It's nothing else but the different types of clothes that we wear. Today I'm standing in front of you wearing a dress which you people are very familiar with, a salwar kameez. And you are at home uh, dressed in various type of clothes, cotton, silk or you know, sportswear, casual wear, anything. So let's start with that lesson, the clothes we wear on page 215. Now in this itself, you see the pictures, there are different people wearing different types of clothes. A man with a sharwani, then a man with a t-shirt and jeans, a girl with a dress, then a uh, boy with a, you know, that big uh, robe and a cap, then uh, one lady in a sari, one lady in a churidar again, um, and one lady in a half sari. Wow, this is such a lovely sari, Ma. Thank you, Mansi. This sari is made of silk. Do you know how we get silk? We get silk from silkworms. Is that really true? Do we get clothes from worms? Yes, it is. A silkworm is born out of the eggs hatched by a moth. A silkworm is a small caterpillar which feeds on mulberry leaves. It then starts spinning a cocoon of silk threads around itself. The cocoon is then collected by the farmers who separate the silk threads and weave them into clothes. You see, Mansi, the silk sari I'm wearing now has gone through all these stages. I think I'm going to use this information for my school project. Ma, what about the dress I'm wearing? How do we get this type of cloth? The dress you are wearing is made of cotton. And cotton is obtained from the cotton plants. Mansi, we get different types of clothes from both plants and animals. For example, linen is obtained from flax plants. Wool is obtained from sheep, camels and rabbits. Leather is obtained from the skin of dead animals and rubber is collected from rubber plants. Wow! That is wonderful! Ma, I would like to wear my silk dress to school. No, Mansi. Students are supposed to wear the same set of clothes or the uniform every day. Even some people wear uniforms or special clothes for work. We also wear clothes for special purposes. They are known as costumes. Ma, yesterday I saw Lily Auntie in a different dress. Was it a costume too? Mansi, Lily is from Korea and she was wearing the traditional dress of her country. Like in India, we have sari or salwar kameez for women and kurta pyjamas for men as our traditional dresses. Similarly, Japanese people wear kimono. People from Scotland wear highland dresses. Mansi, do you know, people from different parts of India also wear different clothes? All these clothes are so lovely. I would love to wear different types of clothes when I grow up. Now, let's begin. What sort of clothes do you like to wear? All of us like to wear cotton clothes. Would something you wear on a picnic or to the beach be suitable for a wedding or a place of worship? If not, why? Now, what we wear to the beach or the picnic is just casual wear. We want to be free in that, we want to play in the beach, we want to play in the when you go for a picnic. But that kind of dress is not suitable to wear to a place of worship or a party or a social gathering. So that type of dress is not suitable. For a social gathering or for a party or for a place, when you go to a place of worship, you wear decent wear, decent dresses. 
which uh, show that you are uh, coming from a respectable background. You cannot wear a jeans and go to a wedding party or you cannot wear a jeans or a t-shirt and go to a birthday party. You need to be dressed in a more uh, better uh, you know, way. Maybe with a nice shirt and a pant or a nice churidar or a full flowing robe or a gown. Now let's start the lesson. Climbing plays an important par part in the way people dress. People wear light cool clothes in places where the summers are very hot and heavy clothing such as sweaters and jackets in the cold winter months. Clothing also varies according to where one lives. Many people who live in cities and towns wear shirts and trousers, skirts and jeans. In villages, people generally follow the traditional way of dressing. Every state has its own special costume. Now, in a city like Calicut or Bombay, we all find people wearing leggings and jeans and pants, whether it's a boy or a boy also wears jeans, a girl also wears jeans. But uh, when you go to the village uh, areas, the remote uh, places in India, you will not find the girls wearing jeans or uh, you know, Western style of dress, they'll be having a more formal, uh, sorry, more uh, traditional form of dressing. They'll be wearing, you know, the churidar pyjamas or they'll be wearing the long skirt. They will have the traditional way of style dressing or the traditional style of dressing. They will not be uh, using the modern way of dressing. And remember, every state has a special costume of its own. Next page, please. Page 216. The lesson is the clothes we wear on page 215, men's clothes. Now men also they have different types of dress. You see in West Bengal one person is wearing a kurta and a dhoti. In Kerala also it's a shirt and a dhoti with one uh, long uh, piece of cloth at the side. In Punjab he has a dhoti of a different style with a turban on his head and a churda, kurta and a waistcoat. And in Gujarat, it's a different style altogether. It's sort of a frilly dress. Men in villages and in cities wear shirts like dhotis, lungis or pajamas. These are also worn with loose fitting kurtas. Men also wear caps and turbans that protect their head from heat and cold. The style of wearing the turban varies from state to state. Next, coming to the women's clothes. Now, women also have a different style of dressing in different parts of India. Like here, you see people wearing the sari, and in North India, you'll find people wearing the ghagra choli, or you'll find them wearing the salwar kameez in Punjab. It's the uh, salwar kameez, and uh, in some places, you will find them wearing the uh, sari in a different style, like in uh, West Bengal and Orissa, and Gujarat also, they wear the sari in a different style. Most Indian women, whether in cities or villages, wear saris, which come in various colors, fabrics and designs. You can see the picture there. All of them, three people, Gujarat, Kerala and West Bengal, draped in saris, which, are, which is worn in a different manner. Most Indian women, whether in cities or villages, wear saris, which come in various colors, fabrics and designs. The sari is worn in different ways in different states. So with this, I stop the lesson here and your homework will be to read as I have read the lesson right from the beginning till where I stop right now. Please listen to me reading. Chapter 6, The Clothes We Wear. Climate plays an important part in the way people dress. People wear light cool clothes in places where the summers are very hot and heavy clothing such as sweaters and jackets in the cold winter months. Clothing also varies according to where one lives. Many people who live in cities and towns wear shirts and trousers, skirts and jeans. In villages, people generally follow the traditional way of dressing. Every state has its own special costume. Men's clothes. Men in villages and in cities wear shirts with dhotis, lungis or pajamas. These are also worn with loose fitting kurtas. Men also wear caps and turbans that protect their head from heat and cold. The style of wearing the turban varies from state to state. Women's clothes. Most Indian women, whether in cities or villages, wear saris, 
which come in various colors, fabrics and designs. The sari is worn in different ways in different states. Chapter 6, The Clothes We Wear Climate plays an important part in the way people dress. People wear light cool clothes in places where the summers are very hot and heavy clothing such as sweaters and jackets in the cold winter months. Clothing also varies according to where one lives. Many people who live in cities and towns wear shirts and trousers, skirts and jeans. In villages, people generally follow the traditional way of dressing. Every state has its own special costume. Men's clothes. Men in villages and in cities wear shirts with dhotis, lungis or pajamas. These are also worn with loose fitting kurtas. Men also wear caps and turbans that protect their head from heat and cold. The style of wearing the turban varies from state to state. Women's clothes. Most Indian women, whether in cities or villages, wear saris which come in various colors, fabrics and designs. The sari is worn in different ways in different states. Thank you.